Hey guys, I'm back with another video and oh my gosh, it's been a moment. So basically, I caught the gnarliest stomach bug at the beginning of this week and it has truly taken me out and I've been like dead to the bed for the majority of the week. Uh, like crazy fever, headache, sore, can't move, stomach's like 100 pounds, like I can't, haven't burned any candles for the majority of the week because I just get so nauseous at the, like any fragrance. Uh, like food just makes me completely nauseous. So I haven't really eaten anything either. Uh, it's been like truly awful. Uh, and so I'm finally getting on the mend and so I was like you know what let me force myself out of bed and film a few videos uh, in honor of the spring candle event that is coming up next weekend so on March 16th to the 19th there is going to be a rumored $12.95 candle sale event and I believe you should be able to use a 25% off mailer coupon uh, on top of that to bring it down to $9.71 which is truly a low price it's lower than candle day pricing but in any case yes so $9.71 is a really good deal you guys know I still defend Bath and Body Works candles because I feel like they're still the strongest and the most affordable and just the most variety for like juicy packaging as well uh, on the market so I still really enjoy Bath and Body Works candles and 971 is a really good deal uh, I guess the candles aren't moving as quickly as they want them to because they have been really throwing a ton of sales and promos at us this uh, season it's crazy uh, so yeah I guess the candles aren't moving as fast so if you want to snag any spring candles now is the time to do so there's also going to be a ice cream drop uh, for this event as well with the PB&J ice cream as well as the unicorn sprinkles and limoncello mashup. So we have that to look forward to. Uh, it is not certain whether or not the spring three new candles will be dropping for this event. Probably not. They usually want to clearance out or like clear out stock before the next floor set. So I don't know, but you might get lucky and still find some of those. But in any case, in honor of that, we will do a few videos. And today's video is going to be a top six favorite candles for spring 2023 from Bath and Body Works. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So going from number six to number one, uh, number six is going to be Ice Lemon Pound Cake right here. And that's what that looks like. Uh, let me know if you guys can, uh, like, let me know in the comments down below if you can guess what my number one favorite would be. But we have Ice Lemon Pound Cake. This is for spring three, so we don't know if this will be out on the floor for the sale. Uh, but I already have all of them, so I figured I'd still put them in here. Sherry Glazed Icing, Pure Lemon Zest, Fluffy Pound Cake, and Whipped Cream. So... This one was out last year and I loved it and I'm glad it's back out this year as well. I have burned it once and it's still quite strong in the same performance that I had from last year and it smells excellent. I was just burning Sprinkle Birthday Cake like uh, last week and I was like, this actually smells quite similar to the cake note that's an ice lemon pound cake. So it's kind of like if you want Sprinkle Birthday Cake but with a heavier lemon zest, then check out ice lemon pound cake. But you get that really juicy, awesome, like moist, bouncy. Uh, pound cake texture to this candle that's really good along with like the melting icing drizzle on top with like a zesty sugared lemon zest that is really nice uh, I really enjoy this it's just like a really awesome uh, straightforward ice lemon pound cake fragrance it doesn't smell too artificial or grody it just smells awesome so I uh, love it ice lemon pound cake right there the next one we have is Pink Peach Blossom, and that's what that looks like. This is also part of the Spring 3 floor set. This one is Peach Nectar, Magnolia Petals, and Sweet Mandarin. I have run this a few times as well, and that's what that looks like. Uh, this one's a strong performer too, although it did soak quite a bit. This one... I keep going back and forth on whether or not this is Honeysuckle Peach Spritz from last year. It is very, very, very similar. But I feel like this one maybe is, a, like, I don't remember Honeysuckle Peach Spritz being this strong. And there's just, a, I feel like there's a slight difference between the two. I feel like this one's a little bit more candied sweet. But once again, it could just be, like, all marketing and my head playing tricks on me. I don't know. But in any case, if you did enjoy Honeysuckle Peach Spritz, this is truly the next best thing to it. It's very, very, very similar. It's like this candied peach mixed with a little bit of like a floral powdery action in the background but you still get heavy like uh peach candy fragrance first and foremost and it's like juicy and awesome and it's not so like trash bag peaches that you get in market peach georgia peach it's like one of my most favorite peach fragrances from them there's like something creamy and candy about it but also slightly like floral and green at the same time uh, it also kind of reminds me of, if you remember, uh, they used to have like a peach cilantro. Was it a candle? Was it a candle at one time, but also hand soap or something? It reminds me of peach cilantro, uh, and which was also kind of similar to the interaction that mango cilantro as a candle had as well. So if you enjoy that, like sort of like green plus fruit blend, uh, check pink peach blossom out. Yeah, it's really strong and I, it's just, it's nice to finally like encounter a peach fragrance that I actually enjoy from Bath and Body Works. So pink peach blossom right there. 
Number four is some bunny loves you. So we don't have a whole lot of bakery this time around. So like if you want your bakery, like ice lemon pound cake, the same old strawberry pound cake, uh, some bunny loves you. Like these are truly like the only bakery fragrances you're gonna find this season, but this one's excellent. Uh, so yes, sweet carrot cake right here. This one has the festive decorative bunny lid on it. Uh, this one is sweet cream cheese frosting, fluffy carrot cake and cinnamon spice. I have burned this one and I did a full review on it already. This one smells great. I really enjoy it. Uh, this is like really a fall fragrance just like really smack dab in the middle of spring. It has that awesome like carrot cake like spiced cake fragrance that could potentially be like a pumpkin cream cheese cake type of vibe to it. Most certainly exists in there but then once again you do get that uh, like cream cheese frosting from a carrot cake like heaps and heaps of it. Uh, it's like sugary and sweet and you get that icy mixed in with the spiciness and it's just like a perfect blend and it literally smells like sweet carrot cake i love it uh and it's quite strong this year too it kind of is like the formulation that it was the first year so uh nothing but good things to say about it so sweet carrot cake right here if you want like a really like awesome cozy fall gourmand in the middle of spring this is your uh best bet Number three is Blue Bungalow. Love this packaging and this whole collection. Oh my gosh, and it has the gold lid on it, and that's what that looks like. Uh, this one is Salted Sea Breeze, Beachside Eucalyptus, and Floral Shores. I think this one was so exciting because I was just anticipating just boring old blue bungalow we've had before but this is not that fragrance it's a completely new fragrance under the same name just completely weird uh but that's what that looks like right there um yeah i love it oh my god it's like a blend of like crystal waters um yeah it's like crystal waters with like a floral component to it there's like a sort of salty aquatic uh beachy component to it uh that's slightly fruity as well and then you get a floral component in there that's kind of similar to like a plumeria or beach orchid type of fragrance that I really enjoy. And it's like this aquatic, slightly fruity, beachy, salty floral fragrance all in one. And it's like fresh, clean, but floral and pleasant and just really nice. So I really enjoy this one. Uh, so blue bungalow right there. Number two is, oh my god, I, I didn't think I'd be so into coconut body care fragrances, but here we are. We have Coco Paradise. So, like, I have already repurchased this one, so you know I really enjoy it because I rarely repurchase anything from Bath & Body Works these days. So, Coco Paradise right here. This has the full body care hookup to it. Uh, this one is Salted Coconut Manoi Sugar Neroli and Bronze Sandalwood. Uh, this one's strong. It's great. I love it. It burns fine. Um, mm, oh my god, this is just, like, so, like, beach resort awesome action. It's like a oily like rich liquidy robust coconut fragrance that comes from that coconut manoi oil type of vibe that you get in there um mixed with a like floral it was a neroli yeah like a floral orange blossom neroli component that has that slightly like metallic orange blossom fragrance in there for sure and then it, like there's almost like this like warm banana fruity sweetness kind of mixed in there as well and then like a robust body care sandalwood mixed in there and it's like this like just rich almost like sultry coconut body care fragrance that still has enough of like a floral component in it that i really enjoy it's truly the next best thing to hibiscus paradise which i really enjoyed but only bought one out so i was like you know what i'm just gonna stock up on coco paradise and enjoy it so i really enjoy that so coco paradise right there and lastly, number one on our list is Sea Salt and Neroli. Oh my god, love this one. So this one came out really early in the year, and that's what that looks like. This one is Salt and Neroli Blossoms, Watery Eucalyptus, and Fresh Lemon Zest. Friggin' excellent. It does salt like crazy, though, so just keep that in mind. Mmm. Oh my god, this is so, so divine. I haven't burned this in a hot minute just because I've had so many other candles to go through, but... I really enjoy this one. I have already bought a backup of this one. This one is like your quintessential luxury fragrance market orange blossom fragrance. It's excellent. It captures that beautiful, uh, like natural orange blossom quality that has like a floral feel to it with a natural sweetness. Orange blossom doesn't actually really smell like oranges and this doesn't actually smell like oranges. That's what I enjoy about it. But they do add like a slight like nuzzly woodsy component that gives it like a sandy beachy quality that you get from the eucalyptus as well as like a little bit of a bright pop from that fresh lemon zest in there as well and it's just like this 
awesome quintessential like high-end resort beachy kind of sunscreen type of underworldly orange blossom fragrance that I love so much uh, like I've just found this fragrance profile in so many like luxury candle fragrances uh, but I've always wanted it in a affordable three-week strong throw format and here we have it in sea salt and neroli so I can't gush about this enough love it so sea salt and neroli right there and that was my top six favorite fragrances for spring 2023 from Bath and Body Works. Let me know what your favorites are. And I guess we have the uh, spring candle event to look forward to. I am just really excited for the PB&J ice cream. So I'm gunning for that. So thanks so much. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.